Hi, Joel. In this episode, uh, what are we going to be talking about? We are in round two of our uh, Super Bowl Trail Camera Challenge. So stick with us, and uh, we're down to six cameras, and we're going to go from six down to three in this episode. Awesome. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Uh, today we're entering into our second round of our Super Bowl Challenge. Joel, why don't you uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, what we did and how we set this up? Yeah, so Tim, in the last episode, uh, we started with eight cameras. We went through the specs and stats on those cameras, and uh, two of them fell off, the Acaso and a Spy Point, uh, Link W. Link W. <clears throat> and here's where we're going to try this episode, because it takes me a lot of time to edit those bleeps out. We're, gonna, we're not going to try to call Spy Point what you called it last time because it takes a lot of time to edit that out so for whatever they are so we're down to one spy point we'll see where that one comes in but anyway long story short we went from eight down to six last episode this episode's all about round two and um, we seeded these cameras based on relative quick performance how sensitive they were number of pictures they took quality of pictures things like that um, and the only reason we did that is we just didn't want a super good quality camera going against a super good quality camera um, right away in the bracket and get bumped out. We'd, we'd rather see that in the finals, right? Yep. So our seedings are um, the number one seeded camera is the Moultrie A900. And the number two camera was the Primos <laughs> Proof 3. And the fourth, uh, third seeded was the Bushnell Trophy Cam HD. Uh, fourth seat was the Primos Autopilot. <laughs> Fifth seat was the Spy Point <laughs> Link SLT. And uh, last but not least, the Moultrie A700 was the sixth seated camera. And uh, so that's how we seated them in the first bracket, Tim. Um, what The way we seated them then is that, that put a Moultrie A700 against a Moultrie A900. How'd they do? Well, and let's just refresh. The A700 was from last year. It was in our contest, and it was uh, it was in our final two, in our performance. <clears throat> and uh, but it was reeded. It was seated six this time. Right now, I think from my recollection, we can find them off eBay for fifty-five dollars, something like that. Yeah, I, I'm. The only reason I know that is I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy four of them here after this episode. So, <laughs> so we did the A700 versus the. Uh, which was our sixth seed versus the A900, which was our, our first seed. And uh, it was our first upset. The picture quality was very similar from a day and nighttime perspective. Um, I'm going to come back to more to that in a second. The A700 in the time frame that we had set up had 1,525 pictures to the A900, which had 411 and of all six of these cameras, the A700 is the only pick, the only camera to pick up the birds. So we had a bunch of birds hitting our food plot, and it was the only camera to pick them up. Yeah, which which is amazing. Um, again, for the prize. So just just to review the. You know, the Moultrie A700 is a 14 megapixel. The A900 is a um, is a what is a 30 30 megapixel. Uh, and even with that, the sensitivity was was better. Um, and and I thought the picture quality was better, both day and night and dust. Didn't you agree? Yeah, and the A900 is a hundred and ten dollar camera. Um, yeah, you know, roughly around a hundred bucks. Yeah. Yep. So for double the price, you see no noticeable difference in picture quality. In fact, I think the A700 is better. I would concur. And the sensitivity would, did not match up. So the A700, if you can get them, I mean, really, them. it's really a performing camera. Yeah. All right. So we go on to the next round? Yeah. So the next bracket was the uh, okay. Spy Point Link SLT. Uh, compared to the uh, Primos Proof uh, 3. Yep. And again, the Primos Proof 3 was uh, seated number 2. So the Spy Point, 
obviously, as Jake just said, was seated fifth. And uh, they both have relatively good nighttime pictures. But from a sensitivity perspective, this is our second upset. The spy point had 490 pictures to the proof 338. Uh, they both had uh, good picture quality is how I would qualify it, both uh, during the day and night. Um, the advantage that spy point has is, is it's a it's a cellular it's a cellular camera, and what and with cellular cameras they're sending you the low quality image, and then as part of the program, if you want to make it a high quality image, you can, but they limit you to 500 500 pictures, I believe, and. Uh, which I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's a whole nother conversation. So right now, I think we gave the edge to Spy Point, passing on to the next round. So the Spy Point uh, Link SLT is moving on to the finals. Yep. And in our last bracket, uh, we had the Bushnell Trophy Cam HD versus the, uh, and that was number three, and versus number four seed Primos Autopilot. So neck and neck, three and four here going at it. Yep, and it was neck and neck. So we have three versus the four seed. The Bushnell produced 842 pictures, and the Primos Autopilot had 1,273 pictures. So really good uh, sensitivity uh, that we're seeing there from a distance perspective. Um, some great picture quality came coming out of the Bushnell. I would call the Autopilot. It has good quality on the day and the night. Um, obviously, they both have video quality. We give the edge right now to the autopilot. With the broken hinge. With the broken hinge. <laughs> no broken way. latch, actually. <clears throat> so when you look at the, the price points and stuff like that, that was really a close battle. Um, the Bushnell had had the edge on picture quality but the sensitivity from the autopilot stuff to break it was a, that was a tough one um but th there is a pretty significant uh, the, the autopilot's well less than half price uh, of the bushnell um if you can if you can find them and uh it does have a two-year warranty by the way i uh checked on that because <laughs> i'm gonna have to send that in and get it fixed but uh, so they they do stand behind their products Cool. What? What? Um, maybe we can talk about what are the criteria. You know, again, all these cameras that we're testing is it safe to say they all have video, they all have photo, they all have video photo combo bursts up to nine pictures on some of them, but <coughs> certainly up to three on most of them. Um, some of them have the time lapse. Some of them don't. Uh, but my point is. Features and functions, they're all pretty up there and they're all pretty darn close. Is that fair? That's fair. So what were you using to, to judge, the, judge the winners here? So the winners, particularly, it really came into the Bushnell, auto, Bushnell and the autopilot. Picture quality, number of pictures from a sensitivity perspective, and then some of the other intangibles. It's like how simple was the menu? So when you look at the Bushnell, can do just about anything you want it to do you got to but the menu is exhaustive and the autopilot's very simple so and then when you start to throw in the price point you got to give the edge to the autopilot okay all right i think those i think that's a you know there's a hundred different ways to look at it but i think that's a really consistent and fair way right yeah so good. so now as we go into the finals i think it's fair to start talking about what's going to be our criteria so we're going to change the game a little bit on these we're going to ask more from these cameras so we are going to go and evaluate battery usage to find out how well they handle to battery usage and we're going to stress them by using rechargeable batteries now these cameras would tell you some, some of these cameras will tell you hey don't use rechargeable batteries but we're going to we're going to try to stress them just to try to understand that battery usage picture quality will continue to be be one because there are some differences between these three cameras and picture quality distance we will do some distance testings to see just how far does it have to be before that camera that, that camera will trip at we have not done that test and then lastly, we'll look at overall sensitivity and we'll measure that in overall pictures that we're able to take. So pretty excited about this. I think, I think we're gonna, we've, we've uh, 
we streamlined our testing from last year, and I think this is this is going to be pretty good. Yeah, and again, um, <clears throat> just to review the finals. So in the next and last episode, coming up right before the big game, um, approximately ten days from now, we'll get this episode out before that. But um, it's going to come down to the uh, Moultrie A seven hundred, the Spy Point uh, Link SLTE, and the Primos Autopilot. Do you have any predictions? Gosh, I, I hope it's going to be the A700 just because I'm going to spend money on them. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think I don't have any confidence in the spy point. So I, I, I think it's either going to be the uh, Moultrie or the Autopilot. Yeah, I think it's going to be the A700. You think so? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Cool. Anything else before we close out? Nope, that's it. Folks, thanks for watching. Um, you, you see our sponsorship here, um, you know, Pete and Shorty's in Clarksville, Iowa. We would love for you to uh, click the like button and give us any comments on this episode and any future com uh, comments on other episodes. And hit that subscribe button. That really helps, helps us and goes a long way. But until then, Tim, be safe, be safe have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.